Hi, I'm Cheryl, the dung beetle girl. Why dung beetles? You'd be surprised what poop decomposition can tell us about the health of an ecosystem. I live in Illinois, which is known as the prairie state. At one time, most of the state was covered in tall grass prairie, but the fertile prairie soils presented a valuable resource for settlers, so more than 99% of the historical prairie has been lost to agriculture and urban expansion. I do my research in the Nechusa Grasslands, a restored prairie managed by the Illinois Nature Conservancy. Restoration is important to me because we can use it to reclaim wild places that have been lost to human development. At restoration areas like Nechusa, land managers attempt to rebuild prairie sites from reclaimed agricultural land, ideally making the restored sites look and act like the few original remnant sites over time. My research results will provide recommendations to the land managers about which management strategies work best for restoring the prairie. But how can dung beetles help us understand prairie restoration? Nechusa has recently acquired a herd of bison, a historical disturbance that helped shape the prairies. These impressive animals once dominated the Midwestern landscape, and we're interested in discovering how adding them and their massive amounts of poop back to the prairie changes things. I use pitfall traps to sample the dung beetle community. To build pitfall traps, I dig a series of holes in the prairie, insert plastic cups, and pour non-toxic antifreeze into the cups. The antifreeze acts as a temporary preservative for the bugs that fall in. The traps are covered with wire mesh to prevent larger animals from falling in, and the traps are each baited with a forkful of fragrant bison dung. After collecting the specimens from the pitfall traps, I process them in the lab. Each beetle is identified, dried, masked, then pinned and measured under the microscope. The measurements I take are called functional traits, and I'll use them to determine the progress of each restoration toward functioning like the remnant prairie patches. The second part of my research is a dung decomposition experiment. I spent an entire day scooping bison poop into little pats and placing them all over the prairie. I know it sounds like a crappy way to spend a day, but I love my research. Well, except for the time when the entire herd of bison almost ran us over. Dung beetles eat the bison dung, removing some of it to underground tunnels they've dug and laying their eggs in it. I weighed all 240 dung pats twice a week for four weeks to track how the dung beetles do their work of decomposition. Turns out, reintroducing bison to the prairie is really good for the dung beetle community. In the parts of the prairie where the bison live, I've found more species of dung beetles and many more of them. Increased species diversity and abundance are important for the health of the prairie. Not only are there more dung beetles in areas of the prairie with bison, but my experiment also showed that dung decomposes faster in those areas too. Bison seem to help the restored prairie function more like the prairie remnants. I'm excited to be a part of these discoveries, and hopefully someday soon the Prairie State will have large areas of restored prairie to be proud of.